Welcome to this series where we are playing as a fugitive in No Man's Sky. That means we're playing on permadeath on maximum settings and we have limited access to, well, two factions now because of course we have made friends with the Vakeen. Now if we come into here, you will see that uh, we've now got a standing of 101 when we are a Templar. And according to my personalized rules for this series, we are able to in interact with the Vakeen, but only down on the planetary surface. So strictly speaking, the only real advantage we got now is that we can enter the Vakeen buildings on the planets and more importantly, we can do some trading. Uh, but there's also a possibility that we might be able to get, uh, well, look for a crashed ship or get a few other bits and pieces, but trading stations are still off limit. And that's probably a good example of, and that's probably a good segue into saying a big thank you for your comments and feedback. As usual, you guys give me a lot to think about. Hope, and I did get a couple of questions related to the, those rules. And as I said, these are very much my personalized rules. And the reasons is for actually using them is quite simple, as the fact is that searching for graves and trying to make YouTube videos is not particularly, well, it's a big challenge to be honest, because there's only so many things you can say whilst actually flying across the, the pl uh, a planet stopping every so often and searching on a grid search but so going forward the focus is going to be more on getting into trouble trying to level up in the GEC and the Corvax to get so it gives another option for actually moving forward and becoming free because one thing I do want with this series is to carry it past once we're no longer a fugitive because I, I di really do need a, a long-term playthrough. So that's the idea behind why I'm doing it. Of course, we're still gonna be searching for graves and of course, moving towards the center of the galaxy. And that's what I want to do now, because I think it was Snafu who pointed out that uh, if you, uh, it's every fifth turn, we can get into a freighter fight. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this ship for a little while until we can get into a freighter fight so, and then while going forward from there, what we'll do is mix things up a little bit uh, when it comes to traveling between systems. Oh, that's gold. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is come here. We're gonna travel towards the center of the galaxy. I'm not sure what the range of this ship actually is. I think it's up, well, I could always look it up, I suppose. We've got Corvax 864. The only thing is we don't have the specialized drive in, in this system. We've got a Corvax system there. We expand that. There's no data available. Okay, I think we'll go there and see what happens. I mean, there's a strong possibility nothing will happen. And of course, another thing I do need to be very careful of is that when I'm in GEC and Corvax systems, that the normal rules remain and are be applied so we've got a journey milestone probably visited lots and lots of systems uh, we are now a space space exploration milestone so let's see what what the situation in this planet is oh it's trivial <laughs> okay uh, we're probably not going to get much in the way of an attack here but we can have a look around the planet system. We've got a corrosive system there. Uh, what have we got over there? What I'm looking for is a planet that might be a little bit more interesting to check out. Yeah, and I've got to remember that we are not, I don't want to super, to super critical. I think what we'll do is we'll just pay a quick visit to a barren planet and see what we can do i mean actually no we're gonna push on guys uh, so that's that's one jump um uh, forward another one you can see we've still got six hundred and eighty eight thousand light years to get to the center of the galaxy so there's a keen system there we don't we only really need to go to the Vakeen system now if for some reason we need to do some trading. I mean, personally, I think that's probably the, going to be the primary reason for visiting Vakeen systems now. Uh, out 
jump range. Let me come back a little bit. Emerald drive required. Why is all the oh I just flapped up? Okay, we got another we've got a callback system. And we're so what I'd like to do is is get to a point where we can get into a freighter attack. Could be a big mistake. So this is the second jump. Immediate reaction. Lots of asteroids blow them up. <laughs> right, what are we in now? Have to log. So, what does, what's our discovery now? Uh, it's level two, so we might have a bit more of a chance of getting into stuff here. Actually, what, how many planets have we got? Four again. I mean, four is about the average when you're actually traveling between systems. Let's see what we got here. Got a bleak planet. Actually, that it's got pyrite on. I wouldn't mind stopping and getting some pyrite, actually. Uh, got abandoned planet there, cactus. So, it's like this is a pyrite system. I think we'll go for the abandoned planet first, then maybe slip over to the other one. So, we'll just go this way. Of course, if we hang around in space long enough, there's always a chance that we may get attacked by a hostile force as well. And of course, the other one is the more unstable a system is, that gives us a stronger reason to actually explore the planet. And of course, the other thing is, by exploring the planet on, on foot and by ship, that in kind of encourages the more attacks. Now this is a callback system, so we've got to treat the buildings with respect. Although that doesn't look like much of a building. No, it's just a trade terminal thingy. Uh, not really interested in that. And that might be pyrite just there. So we'll start. Oh great, got a firestorm. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Here we are. That's copper. Okay, thank you, game. Right, how many creatures have we got on this planet? Eight. That might there might be an opportunity to get all the creatures on the planet. Uh, got a rock. Okay, we've got those there. That's two. Big creatures, three. There's something definitely there, 137 light uni units away. Got a monolith there. Because we could visit a monolith. And yeah, thank you, game. Um, what we should do is look for a gravesite. I think there's something over this ridge line. We can maybe we can have a new rule that when we land on a planet, once we find all the creatures, we move off somewhere else. We move to a new planet. There we are. And maybe that's a rule that we can work from. Find all the creatures, then it's time to move on. And it's not saying that we have to find all the creatures, it's just that saying it's just an option. Clear that up. I think we can just keep using the tritium on this drive. That keeps the shards for something else. Somebody did say about turning the inverted mirrors into nanites. I don't really want to do that just at the moment simply because the, the 
the, we may need the inverted beer if we find another distance system. Let's have a look around. Any more creatures? I think what we will do. Thank you, game. <laughs> Where's that monolith? Let's just go check out the monolith. I mean, it's a neutral territory simply because there's nobody here and we're just paying our respects to the religion of the planet. So, uh, just come here. Well, I'm going to just pick up the, the Corvex words. Corvex word for I. Of course. Yeah, I know. I can hear you. And of course, we're just do the monolith. It's a look up from the ancient relic, the strange feeling of vision, Corvex. Tiny floating tetrahedrons emerge from the planet's surface to surround me. Trust. I raise my multi tool and the shimmering blue the dart away. Uh, I will let the tetrahedrons in. Curse spread seeping to my own. Sudden surge of electricity grows in my brain and I pass out. Wait, I wake. Reality is restored. I find myself in possession of a new piece of. Wow, we've got a pulse splitter. Hi! <laughs> wow. Trouble is. Uh, I may not be able to install it. And it's gone cold now. Yeah, thank you, game. Any creatures around here? More importantly, any grave sites? No. Okay, let me just get into the ship. So if we go to the multi-tool... I've got a slot for a pulse splitter, but uh, maybe we got an opportunity here. If I go there, because in the last part I was actually looking at um, what we got here. This one's fully tricked out. This is my this is my super miner because I've got the advanced mining drill in it. Um. Maybe if I... Uh, right. It's that one I'm looking for, is it? Main T, main explore. If I... Where was it? I'm going to put the wiring, put that in. We just need 200 tritonium. Oh, that reminds me. I think it was, I can't remember. Sorry, someone actually said that in my, at the, the multi toy setup, I actually missed a slot because it's in the wrong place. So I need to possibly shuffle things around. So we need to 200 tritonium. I think I might have some tritonium in my, what we call it, ship. Air supplies. Hello. Oh, About to drop a ship on you, mate. Move. Let me just see a starship. Got that. <laughs> Oops, I didn't need to do that, did I? Because it's now. Put that back. Yep. Oh, where did the Detronium go? That can go back to the starship. So we've now got a pulse splitter. Oh, let me just look round. So we got up. I mean, I can move it now to other ships. So I think what we can, while we're here, I'm just going to put, put you up there. Possible amplifier. Maybe put it that way. That's maybe that's the wrong way round. If we put you there, you there, 
that gives us a little bit of mining speed. We can top that up as well. Right, so we've got that multi tool set up. Um, maybe I do need to shuffle the multi tools around again, but um, we've got four. Just the one. Somebody did say that I got the oh, I got the optical drill over there. That's what someone was saying actually. Eighty-eight percent advanced miner. I wonder if I'd get more by moving you down to there. Mining speed, overheat, fuel efficiency. Oops, no. And then putting you into there. That's because this extra resources mined. That gives us more heat dispersion. Uh, fuel efficiency could be a lot bit a bit more better, I suppose. Yeah, I think we'll go with that setup. I've been quite happily stood around here at the moment in the cold. <laughs> um, let's have a look round. Again, ever the optimist. Subterranean relic. There's another creature over there. How many creatures have we got now? Discoveries. So we got five out of eight. We got rare ground, common flying, underground always active. <laughs> it's always the underground ones that can be a bit of a pain in the neck, but I think we might have a cave here. No, we haven't. Hello. There's one over there. I think that might be actually underground, so. Right, let's just see if we can get. Oops, I'm gonna. Ha! I've been spending a little bit too much time talking. just well I think that's the ground creature oh, pyrite, pyrite deposit down there go and get the pyrite deposit hello don't kick me of course we can scan the We just see discoveries. So we got the rare flying and one underground. Right, we just because we can. Of course, we can scan the sodium as well. Oh, a drop pod you can pick up. Just make sure, check my health. Oh, check our ammunition. Well, we've got a uh, uh, don't really need micro processors, but you never know. And um, life support gel. And we've got. Scan the oxygen -y stuff. Um, anything else around? No, right, we're just going to go and pick up the pyrite. Right, we've got that. Oops, I think I've just fallen down a hole. Um, Have a look under here just in case there's a cave creature here. Again, the marrow bulb. No. Well, just drop a. Oops. 
messed that up, didn't I? That can go there. Uh, oxygen can go there. Multi tool needs a recharge. Right, I think we're in business. We just need to get back this way. So, getting you for a bit of cash. Only 79,000, but that's okay. Before we leave, um, do I need any pyrite in here? Sodium nitrate. Gold, I've got a little bit of carbon. We'll get rid of the carbon by. Oh, oh it's fully charged, so that's okay. Um, don't need the ammo. I think what I will do is I don't really need pyrite for this ship at the moment. So, what we will do is we'll just transfer because, of course. I'm using the resources from this ship, but at the same time, I do need to keep things topped up a bit. Uh, we don't need that, so that can go in there. I'm keeping the multi-tool expansion slots against the possibility that one day we may actually be able to expand. A... So we got... Uh, uh, um, Probably need to specialise the ships a little bit now. But piles of copper. God knows where that came from. Uh, yeah, we may need to specialise the ship a little bit over time. But that's okay. And we're just going to get into the ship. I think we'll do a couple more stops on our exploration here before we move on and see what we can find you never know there's, there's always a chance that there could be a grave anywhere just fly forward. Let me just see, where are we? We're near the north. I think one of these said. Oh no, that was the other planet. There's common flying. Right, we'll just go north a little bit, put down a game where we find something of interest. And then hopefully. So I think we've got a potential landing site here. What's that over there? We've got some cactus, wherever it is. So here we are. We'll see our common bird thing. Oh, no. There it is. So all we need now is the underground creature, which always is always the biggest pain in the neck to find. I've got a cargo drop over there. I'm not really seeing anything around this area. So I think, well, what we got up there? Unknown building, 435. We'll head towards that unknown building and also look for caves at the same time. Uh, see what this is. 
I think we'll do one more stop near a cave and see if we can open up that. Yeah, where you're just. And then what, if, if nothing shows, then we'll move on, I think. So we're, we're going to look for a cave now. Of course, on these types of planet, caves can be quite rare and often quite difficult to see as well. So we probably need to creep up on a rock formation like that. We've got a double uh, thingies there. We've got a couple of holes in the surface here. I think these might be caves. I think we're yeah. I think we got a couple of caves here. Difficult to tell, but we'll we'll put down here. Oops. If I can land. <laughs> Just get over there. Right, we've got a got a bit of a bonus pick here. Well, it's not really a cave, but we'll take it. A bit of a weird texture. Now, one thing I do want to talk about, actually, while we're just doing this scanning, is that I'm getting a bit of a problem with my PC, and I keep getting the blue screen of death, which is a bit inconvenient when you're trying to record. And so, what I'm starting to think is that it's going to need a service. So, probably, well, it depends on when my friend is going to be available to do the diagnostics, because he's a hardware engineer. And so there will probably be a period coming up fairly soon where I won't be able to record for a, a couple of days because he's taken a look at the machine and done some basic checks and he says he can't see anything major wrong. But the problem is he says he needs to um, do some full like stress diagnostics. So he's going to have to take my machine away from me. And while I've got a laptop, which uh, I can use to play games, it's not really powerful enough to be able to record. So there will be a period, up, let's say possibly this weekend, where I will not be able to um, post any videos for two or three days, because he doesn't exactly live close to me. So <laughs> anyway, so I thought I'd just talk about that while we're going on. Because there's no point me labouring on with a machine that may suddenly honk out. Because he, because he's also mooted the fact possibility that I may have to get a new machine. Oh, so I think we've got the creature ah, down in here. There it is. Got it. Yeah, he's also kind of mentioned that if it's something significant, it. I think this is the kind of way of the world now. But because my machine's quite old, I mean, it's over 10 years old, he was basically saying that if there's something significant, say with the motherboard or something like that, it's actually cheaper to buy a new machine than fix the old machine. Plus the fact that you get the machine upgraded with the newer technology. Anyway, so that is the current situation. Uh, hopefully things will go well. Anyway, I think just to finish this video off, because again, I, I can't afford them to be too long. I think we'll do another jump, see if we can trigger the uh, a, an attack. And um, we're just going to go, there's a callback system there. There's a lot of systems where it says data unavailable. Oh, that's because I don't have a 
economy scanner on this ship, I don't think. I think I'd like to go in a little bit further like that. Yeah, I mean, that's the downside of using this ship because I haven't got an economy scanner on it. And I'm not sure if I can actually install one. We'll check that once we get to the new system. Well, that's three jumps. We got four planets, one moon. Right, which in some ways is quite fortuitous because if uh, yeah, we've got a forsaken planet. And a windswept planet. I'm not really feeding it for that. Got an unknown moon. So, see if we can find the moon. Oh, where, where's the. What have we got in, right in front of us? Got a scorched planet. I can't. Is that the moon? Oh, yep, we got an unknown moon. Okay. Right, we've got a glacial moon. What we're going to do is head for the glacial moon because what I'm I am doing is a lot of the grave searching uh, with, where I'm actually doing the grid. I'm actually trying to do that off camera, guys, because it is pretty boring. So this moon would be a fairly good starting location. I can, where are we on the moon? Let me just see. Oh, I haven't landed yet, so I can't tag it. Right, let me just throw out a scan. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you've got to actually land for the game to work out so that you can claim the moon. So, uh, just land here. Doesn't really make any difference where we are. Great big creature there. Oops, wait. Get the quick wins. Anything else around? Because quite often when you land, it's it's easier just to snag all the creatures uh, that you can see. It's another one just there. Of course, this is a quick way to make uh, some cash. So, so we probably put on the very mineral formation over there. I just wouldn't mind checking that out as well. Because you can get some rare elements from it. But then again, you can get a lot kind of rub rubbish. <laughs> uh, let's just see what we got. Get back to the ship. Um, and of course, the more we stand around, the more chance that birds will show up or something like that. Okay, let's just get back to the ship. Um, we've got this dirty bronze, not not the best. We don't need the ammo. Keep the pyrites. Our ship is good. There. Not sure why I'm keeping this phase beam, but I think we're okay at the moment. Can I get? <laughs> right. I can put an economy scanner into this ship, and if we had a walker brain, we could also put a, a what we call it in conflict scanner. So maybe what I'll do off camera is I'll bring that my supply ship in again. Uh, actually, can I bring it in now? It's a curiosity as well, yeah. Let me just. We're in a different system. Sometimes I'm not sure if the game will let me do the summoning. Well, let me just see. Oh, there we are, air supplies. <laughs> right, so. Oops, I've just flipped the ship, so that's, that's fine. Well, pick up. Well. Yeah, we need that to put the economy scanner into this ship so what we'll do is uh, there we are so 
So we've got an economy scanner in here now. That will mean will make it a bit easier with respect to uh, uh, what we call it. Um, so that will make it a little bit easier with respect to identifying systems when we're moving between them. Just want to check the uh, what we call it roster level. Okay, we've only got well. Um, seventy percent should be okay. So that's kind of. So what we'll do is we'll put the those back into that starship. Uh, got some nanotubes, but that's not a problem. Um, I, I think I need to designate a ship as a trading ship. I think. Got, yeah, thank you, game. Got the wiring looms. Right, ready to go. Ammonia, repair bays, all sorts of stuff. I really should actually. I'm aware that I'm running out of time on this video, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy the. Who do we do flicker? And I'm going to refine some copper into chromatic metal. So actually let me just do a quick spin round, see if whether the birds or anything has shown up. Also looking for grave sites. got some dioxide over there that could be I could worth picking up so anyway this is where I'm gonna leave it I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it interesting uh, so what I will do off camera is a little bit of refining of uh, into uh, the, the copper so to make a bit more space on this ship because if I can get remove the copper I can then put the put it in as chromatic metal I can sort that out. Let me just make a bit of sense on this ship. And also what I'll do, because we're on this moon, I'll probably do a little bit of uh, grid searching off camera because it's so boring. And in a, in a hope, in the hope of finding a grave site or a maybe another crash ship. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.